Well, this is surely, surely not a common sight anymore. Apologize if you can't hear me over this goddamn wind. 95 Chevrolet Corsica. It's in really good shape too. A couple scuffs here, but headlights are super clear. I don't think those are glass either. The grill is in really nice shape. Good looking car, but they did not sell many of them. And if they did, they've been off the road for a hell of a long time. No rust around the rockers. It's dirty, but hardly. No rust. Interior is not spotless, but it it isn't too bad. I mean, the seat belt is quite nasty, but I think it would turn out pretty nice with a wash. As always, in these old GM steering wheels, the color rubs off. I believe this was the Lumina APV steering wheel, and of course the Beretta. 116,000 kilometers, about 72,000 miles. Should take this little Corsica logo on it. It's got these cool windshield washing controls and everything. These were on Lumina APVs. Berettas, of course. Mothers, this one's busted the headlights. Pretty basic seat, but see this second lever here. Is it a full rocking capability, kind of? You can kind of see that my video quality is bad, but yeah. Three speed or four speed automatic? I don't know. I think that depends on what engine it has. And I'm not sure which one this has. This is cool, also. Ashtray cup holder. I mean, very shallow and badly shaped cup holder, but cup holder nonetheless. Basic sound system. Yeah, it's got a tape deck, but no CD player. Not surprising though, it's a mid 90s car. It has is that air conditioning? Don't think so. Fuse box. The side the dashboard is padded. Let's see, not too bad. Back seat here. I did slide that driver's seat back completely and tilt it, but it already does have a pretty small back seat. Certainly small for the mid-size car category. You can imagine even in the 1990s. Trunk won't close. It's been damaged. To open it. Corsica from courtesy Chevrolet Geo Olds. <laughs> Original GM floor mats are in really good shape. Could use a little wash, but that cup holder isn't enough. You got these two up here, which are way too small for the average American drink. Glove box just slides out very much like in the Beretta. No owner's manual though, which is a shame. Really a shame. I would like to get that because these are really quite rare. Pinstriping's in good shape. Well, that is a 95 Chevy Corsica. Probably base model, I don't know. I know they had the LS, and I guess the base. Cost around $18,000 at the time. Certainly can't get anything in this feature content for that money today, or the equivalent. 2019 terms, but. There you go, not bad.